In the blue corner, we have React, developed by Meta, the parent company of Facebook. It is spontaneous, wild, daring, and built for speed. With its lightweight design and flexible ecosystem, React is all about rapid and agile development. In the red corner, we have Angular. Developed by Google, it is strict, opinionated, disciplined, and well-structured. With its built-in ecosystem of reliable features, Angular is self-sufficient, hence likes to play it safe. And the match begins. Who do you think will win? What are the core differences between the two? Which one is more popular and more in demand? And most importantly, which one is a better choice for your career? Stay tuned, because by the end of this video, you'll be able to answer all these questions. First things first, let's get an overview of what really separates the two of them. React is a library, meaning it's a collection of reusable code you can call whenever it's needed. This is like an a la carte menu. You pick and choose food according to your preferences. React, being a user interface library, does not impose any rules or structure upon you and focuses solely on rendering components while leaving other features such as routing and state management up to the developer. Angular, on the other hand, is a full-fledged framework, meaning it is a set of pre-written code that provides a structure for developing software applications. It includes built-in features, so instead of becoming an option, Features like routing, state management, and form handling are included within the Angular package. Now, this is more like a thali. You get a full structured meal with everything included. Dal, sabji, roti, rice, pickle, dessert. Whether you need it or not, it's there. Now that you know what they offer, let's look at why they behave the way they do. Angular uses two-way data binding, meaning data flows both ways. Changes in the view update the underlying model as well, and vice versa. For example, let's say Instagram was built with Angular. So when you like a post, Angular's change detection system scans the entire component tree to check if any data bindings have changed. It detects the change in the like button component inside the post component. Now, only the affected components and its direct dependents are updated, meaning the post component like button component and the comment section component. Other components like navbar component or the sidebar component remain untouched. React on the other hand follows one way data binding, meaning data flows in a single direction, either from the front end to the back end or vice versa, but not at the same time. Let's use the same Instagram example. So when a user clicks the like button, the user interface instantly updates the like count to stimulate an immediate response to the user action. However, this update is not yet saved to the database. Instead, an API request is sent to the backend to persist the change. And only after the server responds, the actual like count is updated. So, unlike Angular, React's virtual DOM pinpoints exactly where the change happened. So, instead of re-rendering the entire post component, it only updates the like button component, making it more efficient. At this point, your brain must have come up with some conclusions of its own. Still, let's look at what the industries have to say. Tech giants like Facebook, X, Reddit, Netflix, and Spotify prefer React because they release updates frequently and as such require highly interactive and dynamic user interfaces. These applications use React because they prioritize user engagement and responsiveness to attract and retain customers. On the other hand, companies like Microsoft, IBM, Oracle, and major banks choose Angular because it provides a strict architecture, built-in security, and the ability to handle data-heavy applications. These businesses prioritize structured and stable development, ensuring their applications are safe, dependable, and secure. If you look closely, you'll notice that applications favoring React are more appearance-focused, meaning they rely more on interactivity and user experience, while those using Angular are more functionality-focused, meaning they prioritize security, structure, and a long-term stability. But industry preferences largely depend on the project that they get to work with, so their decisions are bound to the project requirements. But what about your co-developers? According to the latest Stack Overflow survey, React ranks higher in desirability and usage compared to Angular. Even in the work do it versus want to work with chart, React once again dominates. 
And if you look closely, React has more incoming flows, meaning more developers wanting to adopt it, while only a few are moving towards Svelte or Vue.js. Angular, on the other hand, has a smaller market share and primarily sees developers moving away from it. The admired and desired chart tells a similar story. While both React and Angular have their fair share of admirers, React clearly outperforms Angular in desirability. So to sum up, React is more desirable, widely used, and gaining new adopters, while Angular has a smaller market share with more developers moving away from it. Now that we have discussed all the pros and cons of both Angular and React, we can come to the ultimate conclusion. That it depends on three factors. The niche you want to work with, the project requirements, and your preferences. And with that, we reach the end of this video. If you liked it and want more such content, then make sure to hit the bell icon and the subscribe button to never miss out on any updates from us. And I'll see you guys next time.